Nampu's Harvest Day show has returned after two years. It gives farmers the opportunity to discuss challenges in the sector. They're also able to see the latest agriculture technology and innovations. Agriculture Minister Toko Didiza attended this year's events. Let's discuss the outcomes with Grain SA CEO Peter Taliat. Dr. Taliat, uh, good to speak to you this evening. Um, we know Grain SA uh, organizes and hosts this Nampu event annually. Why is it such an important event in the agricultural calendar? Thanks. Good evening, Ali. Um, Nampu is not about making a profit at the show. It's about providing the platform for food producers and other food value chain stakeholders to network and, and meet and link and, and to do business to improve the relations in the, in the food industry. It's really a showcase of the agriculture in the country and an annual opportunity where food and value chain members and role players can get together. Um, highlights include the Nation in Conversation, as you have uh, introduced, where topical issues and, and tough issues are debated and discussed. There's also an opportunity for creative and innovative producers that can showcase their in inventions and then obviously also the input providers that display and showcase their new technologies and, and innovations uh, across the uh, uh, country. So we know that farmers provide food security for all South Africans, and as such, we've, uh, we have an appreciation for the work that they do. But why should the public at large be interested in what happens at Nampu? How did they benefit from it as well? I think the immediate uh, area around the, the, the town of Witteville and Orkney, those uh, um, towns do benefit a lot businesses. There's a lot of uh, the communities like uh, churches and farmers unions that, that uh, supply the food and provide the food that's uh, available on the show. And uh, all of them non-profit organizations and then definitely also a lot of job opportunities that's, that's provided on, on the park itself and also by exhibitors that, that uh, use people in the area. And on a bigger scale than that, I know that if agriculture uh, does well, the whole of South Africa does well because it plays such an important role uh, in our country's GDP. And I myself attended Nampu for the first time this year, and I was absolutely blown away by the scale of it. So for those viewers who, who don't have any idea of what it's about, uh, give them an idea of the size of the showgrounds, the number and diversity of exhibitors in attendance. Yeah, I mean, it was a, it's, a, it's a great privilege really for Granny to say after a two-year break that we could um, host Nampu again. And uh, all the, the visitors and the exhibitors were really happy to, to be back. So the, the park uh, inside the grounds are about 40 hectares uh, um, in, in the area. And uh, this year we had uh, nearly a full Nampu. It was 84% of our previous record, which was just over 72,000 people that visited Nampu over the five days. And a uh, key importance is also the airstrip that we have there. 950 guests came by 300, uh, 325 airplanes and 75 helicopters in, in total. So it's, a, it's a, a big size, a big show, but it's a, it's a big area. And I think with the regulations that we had, everybody was just safe. And we just hope that, that everybody, despite uh, some getting wet on Friday <laughs> afternoon, uh, uh, will be, be healthy and, and, and not get sick. Hmm. So, Minister of Agriculture, Land Reform and Rural Development, Toko Didiza, attended the event on Monday. Um, and a number of other high-level discussions also took place as that part of that uh, Nation in Conversation series that you mentioned. What were some of the key issues discussed that have a major impact on the, the agriculture sector at large? Yeah, definitely. I think one of the burning issues is really uh, um, land reform and then also the infrastructure in the country. There's many aspects that we need to work together and, and see how it impacts. And as you said, food security and one of the important aspects of food security is, is really the affordability of food. And we all as consumers know what, what food inflation is and, and we feel it on a daily basis. And that's the key of what we're working together. How do we make agriculture in this country more competitive? So it's, it's more than just grain, but uh, grain is the, the, the base for many staples as well as other uh, products that's produced in, in this country. And that's why it's so important to make sure that we tackle the issues that's really driving our competitiveness in, in this country. And as I said, the infrastructure, the, the rail, uh, um, the electricity, uh, that's the key, key aspects that was discussed there and, and looking at ways, ways in which the private sector can contribute, the private sector can participate into this with, with government. So it was really a privilege for us to host uh, Mr. Diza as well as her two deputies, as well as the, the DG for agriculture.
was, was there on Monday. Hmm. I know that the, the Friday discussion at Nation in Conversation is dedicated every year to the youth. Um, and that's a very important discussion around specifically also issues of transformation, drawing in far more diverse uh, numbers of farmers into the sector. What do you hope the impact of Nampu will be on, on the broader future of agriculture? This is critical because uh, this is also one of the strategies and focus areas for Brain SA is really involving younger people and, and the younger generation into this and, and making agriculture more attractive. So it's, it's key that we um, get, get uh, younger people exposed to the industry, but because it's such a capital intensive industry, it's really very difficult for a, a youngster to start a farm operation or to start a business if he had not had any involvement or investment or, or help with that. That's why uh, land reform is, is so important and crucial. And the key thing is really to get people interested, get people back. And I, I want to say that in the last 10, 15 years, the image of agriculture is really changing. There's a lot of younger people working in agriculture, again, studying agriculture. And I think specifically the last few seasons that we have seen, especially during COVID, um, agriculture have, have changed. It's a, a wetter seasons that we experience across the country and it makes it easier. Um, the, the profitability is better, but now again, with the infrastructure, as well as all the, the challenges that we have global with input cost, specifically fertilizer and, and other crop protection products that's limited in, in availability really hampers this, but it's a, it's a growth, as I said, a, a key focus area for, for us in the country to make sure that we involve younger people. Well, certainly positive uh, that, that those in agriculture are so hopeful and so positive about the future. Uh, thank you very much for speaking to us, and, and uh, we hope to see more Nampus influencing the future farmers of tomorrow. Uh, that was Dr. Peter Taliart, CEO of Grain SA.